at Central Park Joe. Talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. Central Park Joe out here with That's Good Money. And today, I'm going to demonstrate the five go-to chest movements to build a bigger, stronger chest at home. Okay, we're going to focus on push-ups today, guys. And so what better push-up variation to start with than the classic push-up where you're going to be keeping your hands about shoulder width apart, keep your core nice and tight, squeeze your butt, then just moving plank up and down. That's right, a push-up is a moving plank. So this is your classic push-up variation. It's been building monsters for centuries. So how to make this variation a little harder, get on your knuckles. Why on your knuckles? Because you're increasing the range of motion, thus increasing the muscle fiber recruitment. So you're able to go lower and higher. Five. And guys, keep in mind, for me, if my chest doesn't touch the ground, I don't count it as a push-up. Okay, so I'm going to stand up. We're going to talk a little bit about variation number three, which is a diamond push-up. It takes its name from holding your hands in this diamond position. Great for the inner chest and also hits your triceps and shoulders. So we'll go down here into a diamond shape. Lower yourself down, back up. Think about the muscles working here. Chest, triceps, shoulders, core. If you're squeezing your butt, you know that you're doing it right. And there's your diamond push-ups. Okay. Now we're gonna go into a variation that incorporates a little bit of more of a dynamic movement. Dynamic movement means we're gonna be pushing ourselves up off the ground, also known as a plyometric push-up. This here will help build explosiveness and hit a lot of the what's called fast twitch muscle fibers, which are really, really important in any type of sport. So let's demonstrate that. Right down here, shoulder width apart, nice and tight, everything. Boom! 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 Right? Now on a dynamic push-up like the plyometric explosive push-up, they're much more taxing, so you don't need to do as many reps. I recommend if you're able to do 15 or 20 regular push-ups, cut that number in half with the plyometrics. Now lastly, we're gonna demonstrate a variation that I, it's actually my personal favorite, because we're always so busy here in New York, so people don't have a lot of time to work out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna incorporate a traveling push-up, <laughs> so to speak, right? So we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to get from point A to point B while we're doing our push-ups. Okay, here's our positioning. Classic shoulder width apart, everything nice and tight. Boom. 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 To so see that, we're traveling. We're getting where we need to go and doing our push-ups. Let's go back to where we came from. This has additional benefits is that it'll give you a little bit more of a cardiovascular hit as well. If you can incorporate those five variations. You give them a bonus, Joe? Bonus? Okay. <laughs> Let's do a bonus push-up, okay? Give them a bonus. Feeling strong? Yeah. Let's get down. Oh, the Mike Tyson joint. Oh, we have to do yeah, that. Yeah, we gotta do the classic Mike Tyson. <laughs> Should I put my feet against the... Right here. Okay. Right? Made famous by one of my favorite heavyweight boxers, Mike Tyson. So I'll kind of start out in this position here, then you kind of boom. You working there, Joe? Uh, this is legs, core, shoulders, triceps, almost a full body workout. Everything will be sore after these. And also coordination, too. Tyson was known as being a very athletic heavyweight. And this is one of the reasons why. Oh, that's more like it. So now you got six variations, guys. If you incorporate all these into your workouts, you'll get a bigger, stronger chest in no time. Thank you all very much. I love all you guys. Thank you, Good Money. It's an honor to be on your channel. Thanks for being back on the channel, Joe, man. Appreciate you, man. 
links to Central Park Joe's YouTube page and Instagram will be in the description box. Make sure y'all subscribe to him and follow him. Thank you. More to come from the man Central Park Joe, 61 year old Central Park Joe. Thank you for that. Good, uh, good advice from the elder Central Park Joe. Thanks a lot. Thank you.